Over the past few months, there has been huge advancements on generative AI tech where big companies like GitHub, OpenAI, Shopify, Microsoft, and many others in which they are focusing on releasing their own AI copilot. Now, an AI copilot is basically a tool that you're paired with to help create apps, documents, as well as writing code. And it's really beneficial for you as it can help save a lot of time and resources as the copilot works to complete many of the menial tasks that you may have. Now, this is where I introduce Open Copilot. Now, this is an AI copilot that allows you to have your own products AI copilot, which integrates your underlying API and is able to execute API calls whenever you need it. So it basically utilizes an LLM and it helps determine if the users require to call an API endpoint. And from this, it decides which endpoint to call and passes the appropriate payload based on the given API definition. In other terms, it functions quite similarly to how Gorilla or Tool LLM does. Now, throughout today's video, we'll be going more in depth on Open Copilot by showing you how to install it, learning how it works, and looking at the roadmap. So with that thought, let's get right into the video. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. Now, as we talked about the start, in today's video, we're going to cover Open Copilot, which is an innovative AI tool developed by OpenChat AI. And it serves as a personalized AI copilot for various tasks, such as creating apps, documents, and writing code. Now, by integrating with your own APIs, Open Copilot can make API calls when needed, based on the context it understands from your input prompt. So it utilizes advanced languages to basically determine if an API call is necessarily and it selects the appropriate API endpoint and sends the relevant data that is needed for the input. So essentially it helps streamline tasks by assisting you in utilizing API calls effectively. Now just take a look at this example. Now before we go on to the video I just want to explain that this is an AI copilot for your products. In cases you're able to scale your store in helping this tool reach the different types of APIs that are needed to enhance your products and services for your website, as well as different needs where you're doing things such as consulting, providing a different type of service, or embedding different types of tools to enhance those services on your website page. Now, in this video, we can see that it is meant to showcase that you're trying to create your own product copilot in which it will be made for a pet store API. Now, just take a look at this. You're able to create this AI copilot for your product under five minutes now this is something that is using the pre-made pet store api but in other cases you can upload your own json file to start your ai copilot for your product which you can see over here and this is something that i'll showcase later on in the video now as you go on with the video you're able to input the different things that are needed to enhance the ai copilot for your product now you're able to embed this to your own product or you can try it with their dashboard which is currently in beta guys and the great thing about about this is that it's all open source which is quite amazing now if you can see in this dashboard it says welcome to our admin dashboard here's what you can do in this example case so you're able to manage the pets delete the products of pets that you want to delete over here search the different pets show the statistics of the pets of like how well the trends and the numbers are doing for sales reaches click-through rates etc and fourthly you have the general help tab which you can ask the copilot for different types of queries now if we go on with the video you're able to open the product uh, i believe what does it say here right here open products copilot and from this you're able to define whatever inputs that you have with the copilot in this case i can it's saying i can support Support you in managing your pet shop how can i help you today and in this case you're giving the prompt to analyze the decline in sales in july and it gives you the output over here now guys this is free and this could be very beneficial for a lot of people who have ai SaaS products not just ai products i'm just talking about in general but if you have any sort of SaaS or any sort of like 
actual physical product that you want to track on your e-commerce store you can easily do so with this copilot and it could be very beneficial in many ways as you're able to get an ai to help you with these menial tasks it reduces the time spent to calculate certain things or to execute certain tasks on your website where you can just get this ai to do it for you if you guys would like to access our private discord where you can get a lot of amazing features that are exclusive to the patreons definitely check out this page so you can get more information on that now if you guys haven't followed world of ai definitely do so so you can stay up to date with the latest ai news and if you guys haven't subscribed please do so turn notification bell like this video and check out our previous videos as there's a lot of content that you'll definitely benefit from moving forward we can see that you're also able to add a different type of product it gives you the description and in a way it's like your own ai assistant or your secretary in which it helps you work alongside with whatever you're trying to accomplish to achieve that common goal and it's a great way for you to complete tasks in minutes as you're able to do so much with this copilot and this is something that we'll definitely take a look at as we go further into the video now as i talked about before this is currently in beta so you might want to keep this in mind and but it's something that they're going to keep on working on and it's something that i'll definitely keep on posting updates on the discord as well as on the twitter page so with that thought let's get to the next step of the video where we'll now showcase how you can actually install it now there is two methods of accessing the ai code pilot Firstly, you can do so by utilizing their cloud platform in which you just need to connect your Google account and it's fairly easy to set up. Now let's get to the next method where I'll showcase how you can install it locally. To install Open Copilot, you will need a couple of things before moving on with the steps over here. Firstly, you will need Git, which is an application that helps you clone the repository onto your desktop. Secondly, you will need Docker. Thirdly, you will need an open AI API key. Fourthly, you will need Python. So once you have all these things fulfilled, we can get to the next step. Now, what you need to do is you just need to copy this code over here, open up your command prompt, paste it into your command prompt, and easily just click enter and it'll start cloning the repository as easy as that. Now, what you need to do is go into the LLM server file in docker files and input your open ai api key so you just easily need to input your key over here and you're able to navigate to the repository folder and run the following command now this is for mac os or linux so if you want to get the documentation that gives you the command to start it up i highly recommend that you check it out with the github repository but if you want the method to launch it through docker you can just simply open up docker Go on to the environments and just click on the play button for the repository and it will launch it on your local host. So this is just an easy way to uh, just install it locally. But in the case of this video, I recommend just using the beta for now as it's way more easier to do so. So in my preference, I will be showcasing what you can do with Open Copilot on their cloud platform. Now let's just briefly go over some of the things that Open Copilot can do and cannot do as well as the roadmap. Map. Now, as we talked about, it's capable of calling your underlying APIs. It can transform the responses into meaningful text. It can automatically populate certain request payload fields based off the context. Now, an example of this is that you can request actions like initiate a new case about X problem. So as you saw in the example, you're able to create a new product with the copilot as it was the best performing copilot or the best performing product on their whole list of different products that they had in terms of the pet store and they launched the product with the best appropriate name through the copilot now some of the things that they say that it cannot do is that it's not suitable for handling large apis it's not equipped to handle complex apis and it's not uh, able to remember the chat history for every message that is sent to it now currently it does not support calling multiple endpoints simultaneously and this is a feature that will be coming shortly now this is some of the things that you can do and cannot do with open copilot in terms of its roadmap they are trying to incorporate that chat memory which we talked about ui endpoint editor so you can allocate different endpoints within the application 
uh, you're going to have a vector database, which is something that's really cool because you're going to be able to store larger APIs, a plugin system, which will be quite interesting, and an offline LM that will be interacting with the open copilot so that you can utilize the large language model offline. And this is something that will help uh, the ability to ingest text data, PDFs, websites, and extra data sources. So this is a great way for you to input these things into your open copilot so that you can actually utilize this to scale different products and services. Now with that thought, let's actually showcase a demo of what you can actually do with open copilot. Once you have linked your Google account, you'll be put to this page in which you can just click on this button, create copilot. It'll take you to this page and it'll state certain things that what it's going to do. It's going to use your definition of your copilot to the ability of understanding your product. Uh, it's going to validate your API definition and integrate the copilot to the uh, product that you want. So in this case, you can upload your swagger.json file. And what it will do is that the copilot will use the API of the JSON file to communicate with the product and execute different types of actions regarding this product. Now, in this case, you can also use the other option in which they have pre-made the demo with the swagger file in which you can quickly utilize the example the pet store to change up the SaaS system or the product system now there's a couple of important instructions that you can read through but in this case i'm just going to click next as you can do so on your own time to go over this application now click on next come on okay i you have to click on this my bad sorry guys and then once you're done uh, it just tells you the validations and recommendations of what it's going to do. Uh, you can click next, make it better. Make sure that all the recommendations are taken into consideration as it will help you get the best out of the platform. Yes, and continue. So in that case, you're able to adjust and fix certain things. But in the case of this video, I'm just going to go showcase what you can do and how you can implement it into your own website in this case you're able to embed your own products now in this case you can copy the following code into your website head script so you can copy whatever is happening over here or you can try the copilot for your own example dashboard now there's certain things such as your general settings in which you can change the name of the pet store or the copilot uh there's other manual context to what you can give the copilot to do uh there's a SaaS accounting uh copilot which will help you with your accounting needs marketing needs as well as e-commerce and general quote finding needs now you're able to delete this copilot but in this case we can just go try and share and then we're gonna just gonna try out the copilot for ourselves now we've seen this example before and the demo videos now i opened up twice but let me close that but we can see over here you can open your products copilot which will prompt it up over here you have a lot of different things in which you can do uh, for example you can ask it for a breakdown of the different products of how they're basically doing over the couple of months and in this case you can specify how are the sales for this past month now i'm just gonna give this prompt in and it's gonna analyze how the sales are doing in this case, there is a number of 10 sales. The amount of sales is 16K. Now, it's a great way for you to ask certain questions on the go. And this is something that will be very beneficial for anyone who has an e-commerce brand selling a service online or products as it will be very beneficial to work with the AI to solve certain things. Now, in this copilot example, you're able to do four of the things which we saw. Manage the different pets by deleting or adding them you're able to search the pets statistics such as sales numbers link click through rates which we talked about earlier in the video and asking for general help with your products and service so in a way as i talked about the start this is your secretary or your ai assistant so this is a great way for you to definitely handle this copilot to help you out with many different things and i highly recommend that you definitely check this out as this is an open source project which basically means it's completely free now i know if you're going to host it on your local host you will need to input your open ai api key which is not free but if you're going to be utilizing it on the cloud by inputting your own swagger.json file you're going to be able to do a lot and this is something that is completely free and doesn't need any sort of resources to run so definitely check this out 
if you guys haven't already it's actually blowing up today and this is something that i wanted to cover as it's very beneficial for you but with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and you got some sort of value out of today's video now if you guys haven't checked out the patreon page please do so so you can get our exclusive features with our private discord if you guys haven't followed please do so turn notification bell and like this video now thank you guys so much for watching it really really means a lot to me have an amazing day spread positivity and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas